So insertion loss is the loss at, at, at the point of, of termination, and that's what we are talking about, the insertion loss. So sometimes we'll be asked to define the insertion loss. So it's the ratio of the voltage across the load. It is the ratio. The ratio of voltage across the load when directly connected to the generator to the generator or the source directly connected to the generator or the source to the voltage the voltage when directly connected with volume directly connected to the network so in such a loss is given by the voltage across the load and the voltage across the network, which are referred to as V2. So this what is given by the station loss. So from there, I can do. So this is an example of a two-port two -port network, and uh, we have got the the inputs. And the voltage that appears across the two terminals at the input is V1, and the, vol and the current is I1. Well, the travel that is going to, to be connected to the load is I2. And at this point here, we are terminating the load at that point. So at this point of termination, we normally have the insertion loss that we, we now want to determine from the analysis. So from, from here, we are supposed to, to understand this using examples which we are just, just following just immediately. So this is, this is an example of a, a circuit that was supposed to time the catastrophic impedance, RO, and also timing the insertion laws. Eh? So RO, we can pick this from a formula which actually was giving us a direct solutions to that. Alternatively, we can have that getting the open circuit and the RSO. We can get getting that the RSC, RO, C into square root. So by doing that, we first get the ROC, ROC. When you get the ROC, then we shall have our ROC uh, being equals to R1 plus R2, which is supposed to be 300 plus 450. It's supposed to be 750 ohms. Then RSC, with the RSC, we shall have our output being equal to 300 multiplied by 450 over 300 plus 450 plus 300. Taking our calculators, therefore, RO, which is the root of RSC, ROC, is supposed to be given as the root of 480 multiplied by 750, which results to 600 ohms. Result to 600 ohms. the insertion loss. When you look at the circuit there, we have not been provided with the, cu the currents and the voltages. So the expression must be done in terms of 
uh, the unknowns or, or, or the, the abbreviations for the input voltages and the currents. So for us to get, for us to get, for us to get current, we shall have V over Z or whatever to us, the RO. Then in that case, we are going to have, when we look at that, we shall have RO being in series with R1. Are we there? Being in series with R1. And this is in parallel with the R2. So we shall have RO plus R1 plus R2, which is in series with with R1. That's what's going to give us our teflon as ZO. Then we have that, then we shall have our I equals to V1. Our, our RO is supposed to give us RO, R2 plus R1, R2. Plus R1 into RO plus R1 plus R2. And this, the numerator goes to the numerator, becomes RO plus R1 plus R2. It's supposed to be giving us, to to us, I1. I2 from the formula, from the current division formula, we'll have R2 over R2 plus R1 plus RO. This multiply by I. Multiply by I. Then shall have us from the current division formula. So we have this, then I is given by this formula here. Then shall have I2 being equals to R2 over R2 plus R1 plus RO. Multiple by I1, which is V1, into RO plus R1 plus R2 over, this is RO, R2 plus R1, R2 plus RO, R1 plus R1 squared plus R1, R2. When you multiply this, this and this cancels out, then we shall have uh, V1, R2, over the entire denominator is this RO, R2, RO, R2, plus R1, R2, R1, R2. There's two R1, R2, plus RO, R1, plus R1 squared. This is supposed to be I2. So for us to get the insertion loss, AL is the ratio of I2 I2 over I1. So the same thing is going to divide with I1. The insertion loss 
is given by I2 over I1, which is equals to, we now replace the value of I2 as V1, R2 over RO, R2 plus 2 R1, R2 plus RO, R1 plus R1 squared. Multiply by, we divide by I1, which is supposed to be V1, into RO plus R1 plus R2 over over RO R2 plus R1 R2 plus R1 RO plus R1 squared plus R1 R2 so we know not A1 is supposed to be A2 over A1 which is supposed to be V1 R2 over RO R2 plus 2 R1 R2 plus RO R1 plus R1 squared multiplied by RO multiplied by RO R2 plus 2 R1 R2 plus R1 RO plus R1 squared over V1 into RO plus R1 plus R2. So RO and V1 cancels out. We remain with whatever is A, A, I2 over I1 is insertion loss. So it was R2 over RO plus R1 plus R2. So that is the insertion loss AL. We now replace our values for R2 is 450 ohms and for RO is we had 600 plus 300 plus 450. We get the answer as 0 0.33 and uh, AL is normally expressed in terms of loss in dB, AL in decibels is given by 20 log of AL which is supposed to be 20 log of 0 0.333 brackets and you get that I get to minus nine point five four D B. So uh, this is an example of, of, a, of a Pi network uh, that is symmetrical. And in this case, we have been given the input current and the output current. So from our previous knowledge, 
uh, and application of the losses, we can be able to, uh, to get that one. But the first thing we'll be asked to time the, is the characteristic impedance, RO. RO is the characteristic impedance. Now this one is supposed to be R1, R2 squared over R1, R2 squared over R1 plus 2, R2 into square root. So we have that uh, R1 in this case, just having sim similarities with the first diagram, uh, R1 in this case is 200, and uh, R2 in this case is 400. So you, have, you shall have this as 200. Our R2 is 400 squared. 400 squared over 200 plus 2 into 400 into square root. This is 178.885 ohms. Shashong loss in dB. AL is supposed to be 20 log of I2 over I1. In that case, what is a I1? There's a I1 at the input and there's a I2 at the output across the diagram. Then we shall have that as 20 log of the ratio is 0 0.20 over 1.17. This is minus 15.34 dB. So that marks the end of this session today. So let us look ahead for meeting for another session as we continue with the two-port networks.